Good morning. Welcome to Talking Movies. I'm Spling. This week we're talking about a star-studded small-town crime thriller, a fun spy comedy, and an international cybercrime thriller. Starting off with a film opening this week, Cut Bank. A young man tries to claim a reward after submitting evidence of a murder that he filmed in his rural town of Cutbank. It's from director Matt Shackman. It stars Liam Hemsworth, Teresa Palmer, John Malkovich, Bruce Dern, Oliver Platt and Billy Bob Thornton. Our up-and-coming star is surrounded by a solid cast of Hollywood furniture who play a wonderful array of oddball characters in the small town whodunit. While it's cold, it's the sort of movie that would ordinarily be shot in the snow, tripping into films like A Simple Plan, Fargo, The Big White, and Thin Ice. It has a gloomy atmosphere and relies on familiar genre trappings to get going after a fairly slow start. We're amused by the dark comedy, entertained by the performances, and fascinated by the genre mix as this low-key heist movie gets hijacked by Michael Stolberg whose spanner in the works role is a blend of No Country for Old Men's Anton Chigurh and Office Space's Milton Wadhams. While it seems like it was based on better films from the Coen brothers, Cutbank keeps you entertained. It's rather slow moving and doesn't really command a space of its own, but the oddball characters are fascinating and it will appeal to fans of the backwater town thriller genre. I gave it a satisfactory six on the splingometer. Then moving on to a film now on circuit, Spy, a desk-bound CIA analyst, volunteers to go undercover to infiltrate the world of a deadly arms dealer. It's from writer-director Paul Feig. It stars Melissa McCarthy, Rose Byrne, Jason Statham, and Jude Law. Spy is a film that positions itself in the same league as Johnny English and Get Smart. Melissa McCarthy is quickly becoming a comedy favorite and doesn't disappoint in Spy. While the language is coarse, you can't fault the enthusiasm and timing of McCarthy, who does remarkably well with a number of alias characters. She's aided by a refreshing, self-detonating spoof in Jason Statham and a schmarmy Jude Law as a Bond-type agent. Spy is really an espionage blend of bridesmaids and the heat, employing a similar tone and sense of humor, which is not surprising since Paul Feig and Melissa McCarthy are the common denominator. They manage to entertain with a well-balanced blend of action and comedy. It works, maybe not as well as Steve Carell in Get Smart, but well enough for a fresh round of espionage laughs with some strong female leads. I gave it a solid 7 on the splingometer. And finally, a new rental, Black Hat. A convicted hacker and his American and Chinese partners hunt a high-level cybercrime network across the globe. It's from director Michael Mann, It stars Chris Hemsworth, Viola Davis, and Wei Tang. Michael Mann brought us Heat, The Insider, and Collateral. However, his latest efforts, Miami Vice and Public Enemies, have been less admirable. Unfortunately, Black Hat doesn't help matters. We're planted in the neon lights and information highways of international cybercrime. While hackers live a less exciting lifestyle in reality, We are introduced to a surprisingly dull international crisis in which a convict is furloughed to help with an investigation. Hemsworth has presence, and while he pulls off the action, he's working with a fairly bland character, one we never truly connect with. We are whisked from one international locale to the next, never fully understanding the mission or identifying with the leads. On paper, it's as promising as the fifth estate, but the result is underwhelming, with sluggish, disconnected drama peppered by bursts of violence, as though no one's really wanting to own this story. I gave it a flat five on the splingometer. So, just to wrap up, Cat Bank, a star-studded, intriguing, yet sluggish small-town thriller with quirky characters, a satisfactory six, Spy, while coarse, it makes an enjoyable spy comedy thrill ride, a solid seven, Black Hat. An expansive, yet underwhelming international cybercrime thriller, a flat five. For more movie reviews, interviews and features, visit spling.co.za or check out spling.mobi on your mobile phone. And remember, don't wing it, spling it.